Okay, you have your test questions. I have your test answers. It's very important that you use this time today to go through those tests, check your answers, make all of your corrections, and then study those for tomorrow so that you don't make the same mistakes on tomorrow's essay section. Trey, Jordan, Elise, Brittany. Okay, go to it. Hey, Pike, what'd you get? 74. Oh, that's rough, dude. That's, that's okay. Still passed. What'd you get? Uh, got an 87. That's nice. Yeah, I still want to do a little bit better on the essay part tomorrow. And by the looks of it, you probably should too. Hey, Elise, do you want to have a study group tonight? As much as I'd love to study, I can't. I have to write the story for journalism tonight. <laughs> study group? I'm in. It's at my house. Yeah, what time? Probably about 7.30. That's when I get out of rehearsal. All right, sweet. Mighty. Sure you're not going to come? <laughs> I really can't. I have to write the story. All right, guys. Study group's called off. We can't have a study group without our Mighty Mustang mascot. <laughs> Sorry. OK, everybody. Time's up. Flip everything to the front. Pass forward. Don't forget to study tonight. See you tomorrow. We're going to have so much fun and our study group. on it. Hey, Elise. Hey. Hey. Are we going to do that picture today or? No, tomorrow. I have to write the story tonight. Oh, OK. How are you going to write an entire story about me? Well, you're the only girl on Drumline. That's a story. OK, are you sure, though? Yeah, it'll be a good write-up. I'm oh. excited. OK, well, you're the professional here, so. <laughs> so I was thinking we go to the front of the school, okay. and I can take a picture of yeah. you with your drums, and then that'll be on the front. <laughs> All right, what is a minority majority? Trey, look! Brittany, seriously, stop. We need to study. All right, well, ask me a question, Trey. All right, who was the last president to have a surplus? Bill Clinton. All right, getting one right doesn't mean you're going to pass the test tomorrow. Trey, look, our selfie already got 10 likes. Brittany, I don't care. Jordan, your mom posted the coolest picture from Cozumel. OK, why are you following my mom? She followed me first. I had to follow her back. When do your parents get back? Not until tomorrow night. OK, no, what are you doing? You're not doing the Xbox off. We need to study, and I need to kill some people. Oh, look what you did. This is why you have no friends. You two would make a cute old couple. Do you have anything to drink? Yeah, I have some Sprite downstairs. Can you give me one? Yeah, all right. It's cool. I didn't want one. Either Sprite change your formula or you put something in this. Shh, don't worry about it. No, seriously, what'd you put in this? I didn't put anything. Chill out. Uh, you better not have used the vodka from the fridge because my mom's gonna check. Relax, I watered it down. They won't ever know. You guys want to study at our study group? Trey, I think you need some Sprite. Okay, Brittany, you're not gonna get any more Sprite, so just study. Oh, now you want to study. No, Jordan, just drink it. I already made it. It's not like we can unmix it. Then drink mine. No one's drinking anything. It's a school night. There's not even that much. I don't want to drink alone, and it'll help you study. Pretty sure that's not how it works. Come on, your parents are out of town. We have a whole night to do whatever you want. You guys seriously aren't considering this, are you? No, because if I get caught, I'll get kicked out of one act. How would we get caught? We're not going anywhere. Well, you have to go home eventually. My mom's already asleep anyways. She won't notice I'm gone. We have a test tomorrow. You said you were ready for it. We'll skip first period and drink some water and we'll be fine. I want no part in any of this. Then why are you still here? Well, uh, I want to make sure you're not going to do anything that we're going to regret. It's fine, Trey. We're not going to be drinking anything anyway. Trey just said he'll watch over us. What could go wrong? No more. As much as I would want. That's not yeah, good. Jordan, that's not seriously. Fine. Come on. Oh my gosh. Home tray. Okay. No, don't kill my five.
kill my bot. You gotta be kidding me right now. I'm not really drunk. We're drunk. <laughs> Jordan. 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 What? It's 12.30, dude. You need to go to bed. You need to go somewhere else and leave me alone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, Trey, you're like my best friend. I know, Jordan. No, no. Dude, dude, you're my best friend. I know that, Jordan. All right. Now, you just get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Hey, you all right in there? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I just forgot to take a bottle of water last night. Uh. <sighs> hey, Jordan, do you have any Advil? Yeah, hold on. No, I'm all out. What are you doing? Turn down for what? That is the smartest thing I've heard you say. Whatever, as long as it helps my headache go away. Was it working? Uh, not yet. Okay. It's helping. <clears throat> Obviously, we can't go to school like this. We let's go to the beach. We can relax, recuperate, sweat this out. Yeah. Look, let's invite Trey first because I feel bad about last night. Yeah, and he can drive. Exactly. All right. Let's go. Okay, Trey, second period's going to start. I'm gonna have to take that. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, all right. That's fine. See you tomorrow. All right, bye, Miss Woodley. Bye-bye. Trey. Hello. I did fine on the test, no thanks to you guys. We're in charge of school. Well, me and Brittany decided that we're going to the beach today, and you should come. You're still drunk, aren't you? No, we're totally fine. Then why do you need me to drive? Okay, I mean, maybe we're a little drunk. I'm not about to skip school to drive you to the beach. <sighs> well, we're going to the beach with you or without you. No, you're not about to drive. So you're coming then? Fine, whatever dude, I guess I'll drive. All right, well I'll pick you up in 10 minutes. Wait, are you sure you're able to get here? It's only to the school and then we'll switch. All right, well just be careful and text me when you get here, I guess. All right, see you later. All right, see ya. Come on. Well, this one we have to throw away, and then that one's got to go to Galveston with us. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll just do it somewhere in Galveston. Yeah. Elise, how's the story coming? 
Really great. I just need to get a picture of Natalie. Could I take a look? Yeah. Nice job, Elise. You're going to do well at Pace next year. Thanks, Ms. Hartzell. Yeah, I'm really excited to live in New York. Um, I'm here for the picture. Yeah, let's go. I'll see you later, Ms. Hartzell. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hey, Trey, how'd the study group go? Oh, hey, it actually went pretty unproductive. Have you seen Jordan today? No, he said he wasn't feeling prepared for the test, so he decided to skip. So, where are you going? Um, my mom's dropping off my lunch. I gotta go. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hey, text Trey and tell him we're almost there. Text him. There, get in the back. No. Get in the back. No, he's not. We'll just switch. He's right there. Just get in the back. We'll switch in a minute. Trey, just get in. We'll switch later. Yeah, come no. on. Get in. We'll no, switch. I'm not getting we'll in. We'll switch in a minute. Get in the back. Friends, what is your emergency? Yeah, there's there's been somebody run over in the street. Okay, where are they at? In front of Friendswood High School. In front of Friendswood High School. Yeah. Okay, is the person that was run over they're still in the roadway? Yes, yes. Okay, is the vehicle that hit that person still there? It rolled over in the ditch. It's rolled over in the ditch. Okay, Natalie, we'll have the police uh, fire an EMS on the way. Thank you.
Is Stein? Does Stein work here? That's me. Is everything okay? There's been an accident. Uh, is there some place that we can talk in private? Oh my God, who? Ma'am, it's really best if we do this in private. Um, is there okay. some place we can talk? Come back here. Asystole on the monitor, no pulse, no heart sounds. Right pupil blown. The survivability after blunt trauma is gonna be zero. We're gonna have to call it. Call it. Time of death, 1118. Is it Mr. and Ms. Page? Yes. Yes, sir. And I'm Dr. Vincent. Brad Page. So you've heard there's been a, a terrible accident. There was some report of alcohol being involved and Brittany, um, she was a front seat passenger. We don't think she had her seat belt on. Um, when she arrived, she was in a coma. And pretty much right after she got here, we did lose her pulse. Um, we were not able to get it back, so she is dead. Oh, no. Are you okay? Why were you in that car? I'm so sorry. What happened? I don't know, Mom. What do you mean you don't know? What have you been doing? We're going to the beach. Trey, you know better than that. Why would you get in the car with a drunk driver? It just happened all so fast, Mom. I'm sorry. Dad. Yeah, it's me, it's Jordan, Dad. Yeah, I'm in jail, Dad. I, there was an accident and yeah. Yeah, Dad, I, I messed up. My name is Ed Delosart. I'm a detective with the Friends with the Police Department. Uh, to start off, why don't you tell me about your day? Okay. This morning we got up and we were Still hung over from the night before. Me and, me and Brittany. Trey was gonna drive us to the beach. Trey comes out to the car. So when the AP comes out, we rush off because we didn't want him to see us. But then after that, it started to blur. And then I saw Elise on the, on the ground. And the police and the paramedics were there. and Everything just was red and wrong. It just didn't seem like it was real. Say so it's your name. Jordan Pike, J-O-R-D-A-N-B-I-K-E. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. What school do you go to? Friend, Friendswood High School. What grade are you in? Senior. Do you know why you're in here? Yes, sir, I do. Can you, can you come see me? I'm at Galveston, Galveston County Jail, Dad. Can we just talk about it when you get here, please? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Dad, I don't know what to do. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas, the grand jurors for the county of Galveston state aforesaid duly organized as such at the April term AD 2014 upon their oaths in said court present that Jordan Pike did then and there operate a motor vehicle in a public place while intoxicated by reason of the introduction of alcohol into the body. Good afternoon, Mr. Pike. Good afternoon. Mr. Pike, you've heard the indictments read against you in these two causes. You're charged with intoxication, manslaughter with a vehicle. Pike, do you understand what you're facing? Yes, sir. You've discussed with your attorney the potential range of punishment for second-degree felonies. Yes, sir. Did the charges of intoxication, manslaughter with a vehicle, what is your plea? Guilty. Thank you. You may be seated. Good afternoon, Ms. Page. Would you please state your name for the court? Bonnie Sue Page. Now, Ms. Page, I have to ask you, did you know she had been drinking? I was notified later on by um, the doctor. Does she normally drink? Um, I, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, she's really a 
a straight-A student. She works with Young Life. She, she mentors to a bunch of kids up at the um, confirmation at the Friends with United Methodist Church. I, I would never suspect that. Good afternoon, Ms. Stein. Would you please state your name for the court? Helen Stein. After you left the scene, what did you do next? Contacted our family members and prepared for what you never think you're going to prepare for as a parent. And what is that? Your, your children aren't supposed to go before you. Would you tell the judge how this has impacted your life? It has ruined our life. My little girl was going to go off to college and she was supposed to get someday get married and have children and, and it was all ruined. Everything was ruined. Her whole family was ruined. You destroyed your own world. You made a conscious decision to get behind the wheel of a car. You made that choice to drive after you had been drinking. Can you be a leader today and look Brittany's mama and daddy in the face and Elise's mama and daddy in the face and take responsibility while looking them in the eye? Yes, sir. Would you do so right now? I am so sorry for everything that I've caused. There's not words that can describe the feelings I have at night. I can't say that I understand your feelings because I don't, but there's nothing I wouldn't do to take it back. Jordan Pike, upon your plea of guilty to the intoxication manslaughter of Elise Adams, you're found guilty. Upon your plea of guilty to the intoxication manslaughter of Brittany Page, you're found guilty. After having considered the evidence I've heard here today, the testimony of witnesses and other documentary evidence, I'm gonna assess your penalty based upon the gravity of what you've done, the harm you've caused to the families of these young ladies, the lives that were taken. Your sentence will be 10 years confinement in the Institutional Division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Bailiff, please take Mr. Pike into custody.